Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for my Taurus out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love. All right, so this is for Taurus. Again, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. You also could be dealing with a Taurus. Take it how it resonates. Do not force it to fit. If it's your reading, you will know it is your reading. Taurus, um, we're going to see what's happening with your person, your partner. Maybe this is someone here that has been holding back from you. Um, if you're not sure about what's going on, we're going to help you get some clarity, okay? If you want a personal tarot reading, all the details are in the description box. You can get a video recorded reading as well as one through Etsy message. All right, so Taurus, this is for the week of October 2022, first week of October. What's going on? Let's just say early to mid-October. What can be transpiring in your love life? What's unfolding? What do you need to know? Okay. Page of Wands in a verse and the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So Taurus, there could be someone here that is not taking the action you want them to take. Maybe they've been kind of holding back from you. There's a little bit of a hesitancy toward action, okay? Movement. Um, Three of Pentacles in verse makes me feel like maybe there's been some recent collisions, not getting along, not seeing the bigger picture, not seeing eye to eye. Three of Pentacles in verse is when you just don't really understand each other. And so there could be some big, big differences in how you perceive things, your viewpoints, your perspectives and so it almost makes me feel like are you guys just not getting along and so it's now causing someone to take a step back Taurus you feel like this person isn't doing enough though okay the, the page of penta uh, page of wands energy it makes you feel like maybe they're not reaching out as much as they typically would. They're not showing you that they care. They're not showing you that you're on their mind. Um, Page of Wands in the verse can also be some kind of bad news. It could be like a message or a rumor or gossip or something. This could be from a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, okay? So I'm getting that the passion may have died and it could have been due to uh, some kind of disagreement, tension, Okay, difference in opinion. In the recent past, Taurus, we have the Ten of Cups in a verse, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So we have two tens. So it makes me feel like has something come to an end more recently? Has something happened where it's like you guys hit 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 something where it's like I can't keep doing this. I can't keep moving like this. We can't keep doing this over and over and over. Ten of Wands just makes me feel like there's a burden. There's something from maybe the past that is weighing very heavily on the both of you. This could be someone having some kind of emotional baggage from the past that they brought into this connection. And I'm saying that because we have the Four of Pentacles. So it makes me feel like, is someone here just holding back? Are they extremely guarded? Are they closed off, okay, to love? Ten of Cups came out in the verse. It could be a reason why the Ten of Cups is here. Maybe someone isn't happy or someone isn't in a place where they can truly express their true emotions and feelings to bring forth this happy unit, okay? So this could be a family or home situation for sure. It definitely feels like someone's past drama, past hurt, past baggage is affecting this whole relationship. And so when I see the four pentacles, someone isn't opening up. Someone isn't allowing you to help them, Taurus. So maybe it feels like you you feel helpless because this person isn't opening up and allowing you to help them in a way that could be helpful. All right, so let's see what the current energy is. We have the Justice card, Libra energy, Ace of Wands, and a verse in the Hierophant. There's a lot on the line. For some of you guys, there's a marriage on the line. We have a lot of marital energy with the Hierophant and the Justice card. This could speak about... You know, getting to a point where it's like, okay, you're rethinking a marriage, you're thinking about engagement, maybe you just got engaged and you're thinking, you know, is marriage even still on? <laughs> is it even still possible? Ace of Wands in a verse, some, there is some kind of missed opportunity. Something here cannot move forward the way that it is. It may be causing you to change or forcing change into this connection. When I see the justice card, though, it feels like it's going to be made right. Something has to be set right. Something has to come into balance. And so the justice card could be your person wanting to bring some kind of fairness, equality, wanting to do the right thing. Okay, and there could be some adjustments that are needed. The Hierophant is here. So maybe someone has to do things differently. Maybe there's something here they're rethinking their commitments to. 
we're going to find out what that's all about. Taurus, how does this person see you? The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles, all right now, and the Chariot. So we have two queens. Are there two people? Because I see the Queen of Pentacles being you, Taurus. But then if you are the Queen of Pentacles, who is the Queen of Wands? So there could be a third party here. Maybe someone has stepped out of a commitment or a relationship with you. The Ace of Wands in a verse could be literally putting the brakes on this connection to explore another passionate connection. Was there another opportunity that someone saw? And it feels like that has affected their ability to move forward with you and be victorious with the chariot. Maybe there's a cancer that is um, in the environment and it feels like someone has lost their focus off of what really matters, what counts. Queen of Pentacles, the family, the home, what you guys have built together, the empire. So I think Taurus, someone definitely sees that they can have it all with you. There's comfort, there's long-term stability, there's success. I feel like they know that they can really accomplish much with you, but there's someone in the picture that maybe they're having to remove. Um, give me the energy for your person, Taurus. We have the lovers, four wands, knight of wands in a verse, and the empress in a verse. So this is definitely telling me that there is a really strong divine connection between you and them. The four wands could be a twin flame connection. And with the lovers, it's kind of like you guys may have been together all these years and all of a sudden you're hitting like a bump in a road. Right. And the lovers is now asking your person to make a decision, make a decision. Do you want do you still want this? Do you still feel this connection that we have? Because it's unlike anything you've ever experienced. It's unlike anything they've ever experienced. But maybe they're taking you for granted right now. They're taking you for granted because I'm seeing the four wands as being like there was so much harmony. There was so much peace. You guys understood each other and you come together. It feels good. It feels right. But the Knight of Wands in a verse, this could be someone's act, acting out, acting out of character. This could be a Leo, Sag, Aries, doing what they want to do, coming and going as they please. It feels like they got caught up with something or someone. Knight of Wands in a verse is a very immature energy. Has someone made a series of bad choices, mistakes even? Um there's a youthful energy too. So someone trying to relive their past, their young days, where, you know, they can party, they can stay out late, they can drink and do as they please. And that's not going to happen. That, that can't happen because it feels like you and them have so much responsibility. There could be family. There could be a lot on the line. I do feel like this is someone that may also struggle with loving themselves and understanding what they really truly need on a deep soul level when i say the empress in verse it just it makes me feel like taurus does this person appreciate you there could be much needed change because this person has not put you first and appreciated you as far as the outcome taurus we have the world in the verse okay we have the four of swords and we have the knight of pentacles i do feel like this is going to be okay but the world in the verse could be you know doing a double take doing um revisiting something from the past going back to something here this could be repeating a cycle even right when i see the world in the verse it feels like someone has to learn the lesson and i do feel like that is eventually going to happen because of four of swords maybe there is a break that is needed for your person to really be able to connect with themselves to be able to connect with you we have the heart and the string someone here could be removing themselves from the connection acting as if they don't care but they do because the heart is there but they're kind of detached they're in a place where it's like i'm not sure how i feel it anymore right so i feel like Taurus, you need to give this person some time and space the Four of Swords is like really doing a lot of deep thinking, connecting with oneself, healing. It's it's finding peace and harmony. So does this person need to be alone to find themselves again? I do see with the Knight of Pentacles though, Taurus, this is something that will move forward, but it's going to take some time. It's going to take your due diligence and patience. Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving knight. Slowest knight of the tarot deck. So it feels like there is a slow repair, recovery underway but it feels like it's not going to happen overnight so this is like what are you dedicated to are you both really dedicated to this because it could take some time for you to see um some kind of change but change is coming as long as you stay on that right path so that is what i'm seeing let's jump right in and clarify for you guys if you enjoy these readings taurus like share comment subscribe give me the page of wands and the three of pentacles in reverse please 
crossing that is the two of cups so you guys you know obviously really strong connection you complete me you're my person i love you you know the two of cups is telling me that what you guys have again it's something that you both feel it's undeniable so the challenge is to come back together to recognize this to acknowledge this right there's nothing else better out there and also putting aside your differences with the three of pentacles and the birds you know trying to maybe see things differently looking at it from your person's perspective could really help in you guys bringing some kind of cohesion unity back together with the two cups so in the past give me the energy of the four pentacles and the ten of wands i definitely feel like there's some kind of past energy that is lingering that may have caused the downfall or breakdown in the connection it also feels like five of cups is like i I can't do nothing right. Someone is thinking about everything they've done, all the mistakes they've made. There's regrets. There's guilt. There's shame. And this could be something regarding a family, family home situation, something from their past relationships. They haven't moved away from. Three of Wands is like maybe they moved away from physically, but they actually haven't emotionally disconnected from it because of Five of Cups. So someone is rethinking their past and it feels like they haven't been able to let it go. And so the Ten of Wands is holding on to it, creating burdens as they move forward in whatever situation that they're in. So it feels like someone definitely brought their past into a connection, Ace of Swords. But I think the problem is, is that... <laughs> This person hasn't been very honest with you, Taurus. Maybe there is something they went back to from the past, but it feels like the Ace of Swords, are they speaking about it? So there could be some challenges in talking about it, speaking about it, being upfront with your partner, having the means to vocalize your concerns. So give me the Justice card. There could be an energy of wanting to set things right. Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot on the line. Some of you guys, you have a home, you have family, you have, you know, uh, joint assets, resources, children, Ten of Pentacles just makes me feel like there's a lot in the line regarding money. And with the hair font, definitely could be marriage. Give me the Ace of Wands in a verse. Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups in a verse. Someone is very much hurting. We definitely have family home. Again, Ten of Cups very much affected by all this. There's a separation, there's grieving, there's loss. And that's why the Ace of Wands in a verse, something, has, something had to pull back. I'm feeling something pulled back way back. And the Three of Swords is having to deal with some kind of emotional loss, some pain. But I do see the justice as being the need to set things right. So did someone had to remove themselves from the situation in order to set themselves right, in order to work on themselves? And that's what it makes me feel like. Because the Hierophant, I do feel like this person is so dedicated to what this is. But maybe right now, in a the moment, they cannot show that dedication because there's work to be done on themselves. Three of Swords. And as a result, you both are hurting. You both are hurting. So how do they see you? We have the chariot. They obviously see you, uh, Taurus, as someone that wants movement. The chariot, you want change, you know? Four wands in a verse, your home, your family has been affected. Maybe this is someone you saw yourself settling down with and marrying. This could be marriage, four wands coming together for the long term. But they also see you, Taurus, as kind of holding back. It makes me feel like a lot of you are hesitant to take that next action toward them. You want your person to move forward. So, you know, Taurus, you may be waiting for your person to figure it all out, to get their life together, to take that action initiative. Because Page of Pentacles in verse makes you feel like, Taurus, you know, you're kind of like hands off. I'm not doing it anymore. I've done enough. And whatever you've done in the past, it feels like it really hasn't helped much. And so you may be feeling, well, you know what? I need to work on myself. Give me this Queen of Wands. Who is that Queen of Wands? Four of Swords and the Page of Wands. Of Someone definitely made a decision to maybe explore another passionate connection. I'm seeing there could have been like fun flirting, texts and stuff like that. And they even may have gotten caught because we have the Three of Swords. Is someone here... Was there a betrayal? Was there some kind of third party situation here? Four of Swords, I don't think they want to talk about it. Four of Swords could be like, I don't want to entertain that. They could be very silent about it. Some of you guys are silent towards you because they don't want to talk about what you found out or some kind of gossip, rumor, hearsay. There's an exposure or something here. They, it's like, I don't want to talk about it. So that could be why they're silencing you. Let's take a look at your person's energy. We have the Four of Wands and the Lovers. There could be a decision they're having to make. Ooh, and it could be regarding a Queen of Wands. So if there was a third party, there could be a decision to, you know, do I want to hold on to that Queen of Wands? Is that being stingy? Is that being greedy? Um, should I give that up? Should I let it go to come back into union with my person? Four of Wands. The lovers, there's a decision about a union here. 
And it feels like your person knows what to do because the Queen of Wands is in reverse. So it's almost like the Queen of Wands is already almost out the picture, but they have to now make that decision. We have the Empress. So it feels like if they... <laughs> If they're with that Queen of Wands, I can't be with the Empress. So it makes me feel like there is a decision being made. The Knight of Wands in a verse. Yeah, the wheel is changing. The, the, the table's turning. The wheel is telling me that your person is starting to recognize things or trying to see the error in the ways, the mistakes they've made, and now wanting to improve it, wanting to do better. Queen of Swords in verse, there is something here that maybe they were very dishonest about. Maybe they kept from you and they lied to you about it. And they realized that by lying, that made them go deeper into a hole that they don't want to be in, okay? And that's why something isn't growing and thriving. However, we have the world in verse, so there's some lessons here. But these lessons were not easy. And so now we have a decision to a wands to make. And this could be regarding, you know, learning the lesson and doing the right thing or <laughs> not learning the lesson and continuing to make the wrong decision decisions so when i see the two wands as a crossroads energy but there's healing taking place the four of swords uh there's letting go of the past so maybe someone is finally wanting to free themselves from the past let go of the burdens from the past the hurt the disappointments the fears or something also um something that's been stressing them out with the four of swords that they may have not been wanting to talk about but the good thing is that the knight of pentacles there's some kind of stability coming through and the stability could be Again, a slow process, but it's a slow process toward some kind of new opportunity. Ace of Cups is in a verb, so it almost makes me feel like Taurus. Maybe you're a little bit hesitant in taking this opportunity up. Maybe you're waiting for this person to prove themselves to you, to come clean, to step up, to show you through action. And then you will reassess if this new beginning is something you want, okay? Taurus, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, you guys, take care.